I'm going to show you how to put a six millimeter multi-contact MC4 connector on the end of a Solax battery cable so you can make your own slave cables, different lengths to go between the batteries. So I've just selected a two meter length of battery cable and on one end you'll need a positive multi-contact um, six millimeter MC4 connector. So all you'll need here is a standing knife to strip the cable and an MC4 crimper. And this one's just about uh, 10 pounds. Um, I'm not doing this for a living, so it doesn't need to work all day. And we'll be using the six millimeter square crimper at the end here. This is the MC4 connector. And uh, you'll also be needing the part to crimp on. Firstly, I want you to strip approximately 10 millimeters off the end of the battery cable. So I'm just going to uh, roll that around like that and then pull the end off. Like so. And then just uh, gently twist the cables together so that they don't fray. You need to make sure that you uh, put the screw over the cable first and then take your um, the part that you're going to crimp, the connector, inside. Now I've found the best way is to uh, hold it on with your finger like that. So make sure the crimper is the right way around, we're using the 6mm slot. You can see there. Position it in the jaws and then just pull the handles until it won't crimp anymore. And you can see now that that has got a nice crimp around the cable. It's securely fitted and it's ready to be inserted inside the connector. Push that inside the connector until it goes click and then screw the part on the back. Securing nuts if you have an MC4 tightening tool, you can use that just to put on the nut there. And that helps, helps you keep hold of it as you tighten it up. Thank you very much for watching. Please see the rest of my videos. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much.